All right, let's talk about Philadelphia Eagles' first round selection. Not that one, the other one. Nolan Smith, uh, who, you know, obviously they had Jalen Carter. I made a, a video on him. But Nolan Smith uh, actually had a really good day. He was PFF's highest rated player in that uh, football game defensively for the Philadelphia Eagles. So uh, definitely they were impressed with him, and I was impressed with him. I thought he showed some really nice things in this one. So let's talk about what he showed and what that maybe means going forward. So right off the bat, it's a third and four situation. Dewan Jones, the fourth round selection for the Browns, that's the guy who we're going to see Smith going up against primarily in this football game. Little quick scouting about Dewan Jones, the player who Nolan Smith's going up against, is that, uh, you know, huge guy. He's listed at like 6'8", 375 pounds. So what do you try to do here if you're Nolan Smith? Might be a good idea to use your speed, which is something Nolan Smith's going to probably try and do uh, for most snaps just anyway. Watch how one this play begins. He is going to get towards the outside, but he's still using his hands. He's not just trying to completely run around him, right? He still uses his hands a little bit to get uh, to a position where Jones is right hand, which is usually the important hand, right? When it's a right tackle, usually it's that right hand that's all important. But right now, the right hand isn't even on Smith, and this was due to a combination of uh, Smith using his hands uh, at the point of contact to make it a little bit more difficult for Jones to grab on, but also just taking a more of a wide angle, knowing you have the speed to get by him. Now, here's where things get very interesting to me, because this play is not dead for Jones. There still is a way you can come back if you can push Smith behind the quarterback, and you know, what do you do in this situation? Ideally, you would like to get your right hand on that, you know, side area of Smith and push him back that way. But like I said, the right hand is just not on right here. And, you know, to be fair, maybe Jones should have just, you know, done more work to try and get his right hand on Smith. But instead, he tries to use his left hand to push Smith back, but it just does not work. Ball comes out uh, early enough that Smith cannot get to the quarterback. After all, when you want to get a sack, there is always going to be an element of luck involved of if the situation, you know, presents itself in a positive way usually you need something to go your way whether it's another pressure on a different side of the you know line or just you know someone's playing coverage behind you very rare that you can get a sack just immediately uh but you know he put himself in position to where you do that enough you'll get some sacks but really, I think the main thing I look at with Smith is his hands, because I think you could easily look at that play and say, you know what, you might just be beating up on a fourth round draft pick that's still also very raw in his own right. Uh, this isn't exactly like you're going up against Trent Williams, and I would respond to that a couple ways. For one, I think Jones has actively looked good out there when he's not going up against uh, Smith, so I think that would be unfair to Jones. Uh, but maybe you could argue it's a good matchup, but it hasn't just been with speed that Smith has one. Something like this is a very good example where it's once again going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation, but watch what Smith is going to do here. Right when this play begins, look at those hands. Look at how he grabs Jones's right wrist, really, and just lifts it up like that. He's using his hands to his benefit, and that's a big way he's gotten his wins. When Nolan Smith fell a little bit in the draft, you know, I, I liked him a lot because he had really good analytics, and I felt like his game would work at the next level. But the criticism that even I had to say, yeah, there's a bit of a concern here, is the fact that he just isn't a big player, right? Listed at 6'2", 238 pounds, uh, you know, that's concerning. And so that's part of why I was very interested in seeing how he would go up against such a bigger lineman. But right here, not only is he winning and getting himself in position he's using it doing it by using his hands instead of just using his speed because of that he's able to get towards the edge but again this time jones does a much better job i think of getting his hands in position to where he can try and push smith uh, away but there's one exception and that's that right hand still isn't quite on smith and the reason why it's not on smith currently is because of the work smith did with his hands kind of knocking that right hand away it's just going to take an extra half second to push, uh, you know, push, uh, get the right, right hand back on Smith to where he can then try and push him behind the quarterback. Because of that, Smith does get around the edge. I think good work by Dorian Thompson Robinson, but he still wasn't able to get past the first down or past the line of scrimmage. That was a sack and it was entirely set up due to Smith forcing DTR to have to run up in the pocket where there wasn't enough room and it eventually failed. So to me, that is a very good play from Nolan Smith. And I think is a very promising play uh, if you are a Eagles fan that there could be some real potential in what he can do. 
Also, heading over here, this was an interesting one. This was definitely a smaller play, but I think still one worth talking about where it's going to be a, a running play on this one. And once again, it is a one-on-one -on -one block here on a third down and two. Right when this play begins, you see Nolan Smith, you know, the, the contact is engaged. And again, in this situation, I think you definitely have some concerns about how can Nolan Smith thrive in these scenarios, right? Much bigger offensive lineman going up against you. Can you get blocked out of the way? It's certainly possible. But again, you have a clear advantage there too. The advantage of being the smaller player is you can typically move quicker. And especially in Nolan Smith's case, he is a very fast edge rusher. And so as long as you pay attention and be aware of where the running back is, you can still find ways to make the play. Smith sees this play and realizes that the running uh, back is going to be moving towards the, you know, just uh, more towards the top of the screen than where Nolan Smith is. And so watch how he kind of sidesteps around and again, the uh, halfback bounced it way to the outside, so Smith just wasn't going to have an impact on that play. But he's staying aware, and he's making moves to still find ways to try and have an impact in the play. You got to be careful with that, for sure. Don't want to give up containment too often. That's how uh, big runs can happen. But at the same time, him being aware is certainly a way that he's going to get positive impacts in the play. And also stuff like this, his explosiveness is really going to be a big benefit, even in the running game, where you, it's going to be the player you see for Cleveland that's going to be blocking him. Uh, the reason why they're doing it this way is because it's supposed to be a run. Uh, it's actually a, an end around to Anthony Schwartz, the wide receiver, who's going to run towards the top of the screen. But watch how when that player tries to block Smith towards the inside, it really doesn't work out too well because Smith is so explosive. He gets to this spot so quickly to where uh, you weren't able to make that block, and now you're in trouble because you could grab on and hold, I suppose, but that's probably not a good idea. You don't want to give up a holding penalty. Probably best to just you know, accept the loss and hope one of your teammates can help you out. But again, watch how when Smith is in the backfield, he has that explosiveness to run down one of the faster receivers in football. I mean, that's just great stuff from Nolan Smith to be able to pull it off. So, uh, you know, really well done, I thought, by Nolan Smith. And these are the kind of things that just get you excited if you're an Eagles fan, is the fact that he's doing this and doing this consistently. Now, again, we have to see a bigger sample size. That goes without saying, right? He was, at the end of the day, mostly going up against uh, a you know, an offensive lineman who has a very particular skill set, and it's totally possible that this was just a good matchup for Nolan Smith. I think that's a fair possibility to bring up, but the reality is the fact that there's guys who he matches up well against in the NFL is still very good. Again, we can say, oh, he was, you know, just a fourth round pick you're going up against. That's still a superstar level college player, right? These are still college all-stars that get drafted in day three of the NFL draft. So, uh, you know, it's a big step up from what you're typically going up against, and because of that, it's certainly something that I would still say was an impressive performance and uh, gets you a little bit more excited about Nolan Smith, and I'm very interested in seeing uh, where he can go from here. In fact, I'm almost maybe getting a little too excited about how Nolan Smith played in this one. I think I'm... Uh, I think I'm fully buying into this being a great draft pick, which probably isn't uh, rational, but you know, uh, when you see a performance like this, it's kind of hard to, even though it is the preseason, tell yourself it's just a preseason, but at the end of the day, it is just a preseason. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.